Cancun. Time for a honeymoon in Cancun. Well, we have been delayed for like an hour now, so uh, that's a thing. to Cancun. So now we're gonna go through the airport and then head out to the resort. So excited. Wow, this place is like super nice. Oh my goodness. There's like, there's like fountains out there and like there's like a whole bunch of desserts. It's crazy. Oh my goodness, they have like a bunch of different kinds of desserts here and like cheese and everything. Oh my gosh, they have like candy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm gonna love this place. I'm just like never gonna leave this place. <laughs> There's literal donuts like on hooks. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. That's Lux? Oh my goodness. Yo, what? Yo, this is insane. Man. I need to live like this more often. There's ice and some champagne and, and whatever this is. What are these like little, oh, they're little coffee things. Oh yeah. And a soda thing? Oh, thank you. This is, this is crazy. Like, this is crazy. I didn't, wow. I didn't expect it to be like this at scale. So like, crazy thought. What if like when the reservation ends, we just like don't leave? What if we just like don't leave this place like ever? We do have to come back to work, right? Sorry, Hunter. You know what? I decided that officially I am going to qu Sorry, Hunter. Like, we love you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not. We're not. We're not quitting. Uh, this is what I have been waiting for. There's like a dragonfly stuck in our room all of a sudden and he's making a lot of noise and I'm I feel like he's about to like take off towards the camera all of a sudden. Wait. Oh, up oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Come on, friend. Come on, the door's open. The door is open. Come on. You can do it. No. No. Come on. Come on, man. You can do it. <laughs> Come on, man. You're making a lot of noise in here. Devon. By the way, we named you Devon. Are you doing okay down there? You just uh, cleaning yourself off there? Hey, listen, um, I don't know how long you're going to be around, but uh, you can feel free to stay as long as you're quiet, okay? Okay, I'll let you go, buddy. Let's see what else, what else we got over here. Oh, we got some sabritas and some caffeineo and some other caffeineo and uh, whatever, whatever this is right here. <laughs> LOL coffee. <laughs> anyway. All right, Devon, look, I'm sorry. I'd hate to do this, but I want to take you home with me. But you are not gonna last if you get trapped in this room, so you are going out. Oh my gosh, guys, this is actually working. Like, he actually stuck to the lunchbox. Now we're gonna take him out, and hopefully he will stay there until we open the door. So I'm just gonna move very slowly. You guys did not expect a nature documentary. Did you? Oh no. Oh no. Dang it. <laughs> Devon, this is for your own good, man. Okay. Okay. He's out. He's out. Fly free, friend. Fly free and experience uh, whatever it is that dragonflies do. Oh, also, there's like a wedding going on down there. Oh, so that's pretty cool. super nice Mexican restaurant right now. And it occurred to me that this is an all-inclusive 
resort trip, which means that we can order dessert and like appetizers and stuff and like not have to worry about prices. I'm so excited. Also the mariachi band is like going around and like serenading people's tables, uh, which is kinda cool. So if they come over here, I'll try to get that. <laughs> That's good. So our food is here, and like that is literal cactus on my plate right now, and I am so excited to try this. Not gonna lie, kind of weird. Good morning, everyone. It is now day two of the honeymoon. We got back from that Mexican restaurant last night and just crashed. Um, <laughs> we were up at 4.30 yesterday morning. I didn't capture a whole lot of that kind of footage because um, the one airport like just didn't let me record on the plane at all. Um, and then the layovers had such a quick turnaround time that I didn't really have much chance to pull out my phone and start recording. We were up from 4.30 in the morning until about 10.30 last night, um, trying to get back from dinner and everything, and we just crashed for like nine straight hours, um, <clears throat> which is probably the best sleep I've gotten in a long time. So anyway, today we are gonna head out to the beach in just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go grab some breakfast first, and then yeah, we're just gonna go experience the Cancun sands. Well, they said this place is a buffet. I mean, it is a buffet. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is insane. Oh my goodness, look at all this food. Here we go. So this resort also has an Italian restaurant. It's like one of the eight. So uh, now we're here for dinner. Italian food at a resort in Cancun, Mexico. You would never think it, right? Guys, the food is amazing. Oh no, it's locked us out. We've tried too many times. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, 
Well, it is currently day three of our honeymoon. It has been an incredible experience so far. It's everything at this resort is immaculate and fun and the food is great. And so today we were supposed to go on an excursion, but since it has a possibility of raining, it actually got moved to Friday, which is fine uh, because it's like, what a way to end, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're just gonna do some more exploring around here and see what we can get into. We have been making use of the room service today because it's free and comes with the room. And uh, since it rained, we were like, you know what? Let's just order more like we did for breakfast. So here we are. It's like not thunderstorming as bad anymore. And we decided, you know what? We're just gonna come out to the pool anyway while it's still sprinkling. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit cold, but kind of refreshing. All right, so it is now several hours later. The rain kind of came back, but we decided to um, hang out in the pool for a little bit. It started to pick up a little more, so we were like, all right, now it's uh, not exactly uh, what we want. It was starting to get a little cold. So we went back to the room for a little bit, and uh, now we're actually getting ready to go to dinner. There is a French restaurant here that we had to like make reservations for uh, like two days ago, and they require you to dress up a little bit more. So as you can see, I am basically dressed up for work right now, <laughs> like I normally would for work. They're like, yeah, no t-shirts and no like flip-flops and stuff like that. So um, Tori is still getting ready. I am gonna run down here and check on a few things first for tomorrow. And yeah, it's gonna take a, a little casual stroll at night through the resort. This place looks really different at night. Like, I guess it must be all the lights and stuff, um, but it's really cool. Honestly, I gotta say that I'm still amazed at like the variety of food that this resort has. It's kind of crazy because like, there's a bunch of restaurants and there's like a steakhouse and then like a seafood place and then like a French restaurant, like of all things, right? It's just crazy. Like all of the food has been absolutely stellar this whole time. Like, I just can't believe it. This is all like a new experience. Uh, I've never been to a place where they just wait on you like hand and foot and where there's just food like readily available absolutely everywhere. We have this butler named Mauricio, which has been phenomenal. Um, he has gotten us like information. He's brought us stuff like at the drop of a hat. I could just be like, hey, can we just get some more towels? And he's like, yeah, sure. Give me a few minutes and just like brings them. It's, it's crazy and it's so cool. Also, the music here has been incredible. Like, you guys saw the mariachi band, like, a little bit earlier. Um, and then, like, the singer from last night, uh, who is just absolutely phenomenal. Just everywhere you go, there's, like, music, and it's all been good. I think one of the things I regret the most coming into this vacation is not brushing up on my Spanish more. I used to know some more um, a long time ago in high school, whenever I took Spanish classes but I've since like fallen way out of practice and we've just met like so many interesting people who work here that honestly, I wish that I could have just had more full blown conversations with, you know, cause I just want to like know what life is like here. You know, what is it like to work at the resort here? And you know, how long have they been working here and things like that. And it's just been a little bit hard to communicate with people. Um, but I mean, the hotel staff with the English that they do know has been fantastic. And I just feel bad that I wish I could talk to them more. But anyways, we are going to head to dinner soon here. So that is what you're going to see right about This is my beautiful date to a beautiful restaurant. <laughs> this place is like super fancy. That's really good. Ooh, it's time for dessert.
guys. It's literally ice cream for breakfast. Like, this is great. So we are gonna do something that I've never done before. We're actually at a spa here at the resort, about to do some hydrotherapy. Never done it before, but I'm super curious, so let's see how this goes. Obviously I can't take you guys in there, but I'll tell you all about it after. That was a very interesting experience, uh, but really enjoyable. Although pro tip for everybody out there, do not go to a spa and get a massage when you have a sunburn. It is not as fun. So we got to eat at an international buffet afterwards, which was really good. So many different kinds of foods. I am extremely full. And then we just sat down on the beach for a little bit, and now we're just gonna relax some more. Okay, so uh, things changed a little. It didn't quite go according to plan. Shortly after we had gotten to the beach, uh, it started picking up raining. It got really cold, so we decided to come back inside after all, and then uh, I just suddenly started not feeling super well, uh, probably because of hashtag that chronic life. It's never fun and strikes at inopportune times, but what are you gonna do? Tonight is actually another one of those reserve restaurants, because we are doing hibachi this time. One of my favorite things to do. But this is gonna be fun. Oh my goodness, look how big that is. What is that? What did you order? Croque Madame. Croque Madame. Uh, that's huge. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat it all. I, <laughs> I would love to see if you could eat all that. And I got Eggs Benedict with smoked salmon. I've never had it with smoked salmon before, but this will be really good. We also got 
ice cream waffles for breakfast because heck yeah, ice cream for breakfast. Okay, so it's day five of the honeymoon. Um, this is our last full day here before we have to head back home tomorrow. Ugh, sad, but you know, all journeys must come to an end, I suppose. So today is an exciting day that we've been waiting for. Uh, today we're going on the excursion over to the nearby island, Isla Mujeres. They are gonna be spending a lot of time there. Um, we have the opportunity to be able to drive around on golf carts and uh, see the sights on the island and just go experience some of the culture there. And we also get to go snorkeling, which is something that I have been really excited about trying uh, when we got here. So uh, we head out in a couple of hours. We just finished breakfast. We're gonna maybe lounge around the room for a little bit, maybe hit up our, our pool upstairs and then we'll head out. All right, here we go on our excursion. We're gonna head right over there, I think. I think that's where we're going. Unless we're going somewhere like out there. In which case, uh, well, we will see you guys <laughs> when we get there. All right, so we rented a golf cart and we are on our way to explore the rest of the island. We got about an hour uh, before we have to go back. The people on the boat have given us free time to explore Isla Mujeres, so we are doing that. We made it out of the little town there, and now we're heading towards the other end of the island. It's supposed to have some ruins and a beach where you can walk around and stuff. It's interesting to see how the island like slowly changes the farther you go into it. It's much more like housing and stuff now than it is with all the shops. Should I go touch the fertility goddess? You should definitely touch the fertility goddess. All right. <laughs> Bless us with fertility. 
Well, there you have it, folks. We're about to have <laughs> lots of children, apparently. Well, that was a fun time being all the way down here in Punta Sur. Unfortunately, these two and a half hours that we've been on the island have flown by so quickly. But now we gotta head back, get back on the boat, and head back to Cancun. We have been getting passed by so many people in cars because the golf cart doesn't go like that quickly. <laughs> We're going as fast as we can and these cars are like getting impatient. Guys, we got a poncho. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've been wanting one of these for a while and now I can finally wear it. Guys, look at this. This is so cool. I have wanted one of these for a long time and uh, the shop that we were at didn't have any, so he had to ask like the shop next to us, and that guy came over and brought us one, and it was just the perfect color. It was exactly what I wanted, and so I am so happy to have one of these now. So one of the things that I have been saying all week that we got to try is lobster while we're here. And thankfully the buffet that we went to yesterday turns into a seafood restaurant at night and they do lobster here. So I am super excited. I just spilled Diet Coke like all over myself trying to cheers that because uh, I didn't realize that it was as full as it was. <laughs> it's a good thing that they always give us these napkins. This appetizer brought to you by Amazon. Here we go. Oh, that was worth the wait. The best part of dinner, dessert. Well, unfortunately, today is the last day of our honeymoon. It has been such a wonderful time here at the resort, but we all have to return home sometime. And uh, you know what? We got a lot of people to catch up on all the wonderful things that we did here. So we're just uh, packing up taking a final look around and then our room service is going to come in and give us some breakfast. Okay, well that was a thing. The thing with the bus was that we just hit this huge pothole and like I thought I heard the sound of like air rushing from outside the van. And the driver got out and looked around and, and then just like came back and started driving again and everybody in the van was kind of like, um, like, and we were all looking at each other like, um, I think there's something wrong, but he was just like, oh, it's okay, and then drove off. And then next thing you know, we're at that tire shop and he's like, oh yeah, I gotta change the tire, sorry guys. So we were like, all right, so we're finally here. I actually was a little bit concerned that we were gonna have to like rush through security to get to our flight on time, but thankfully no. Thankfully we're actually still plenty early. 
Uh, we still have about an hour before our flight takes off. I guess now is we just kind of play the waiting game and see where we land. I'm not like incredibly hungry yet, but like it is a three hour flight, so maybe eating something might be a good idea. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. First time that we've gotten pesos this whole trip too. Ironically, it's the day that we're leaving. Thank goodness we are finally back in the States. Oh man, that process through immigration and everything takes a little while. We got one more plane and then we're finally home. All right, one more one hour flight and then we're home. Go experience the Cancun's hands. Italian food at a restaurant. Er, oh. You know, we all have to return home sometimes, and but we all have to return home sometimes. Thank you so much for watching today. We wanted to give a special shout out to our new friends, Cody and Taryn. Cody, Taryn, if you're watching, it was great to meet you both, and we hope we run into you guys sometime again. Hit us up if you find yourselves traveling north, and good luck with school. And Sylvia, if you're watching, gracias por ver. And as always, subscribe for more.